really starting to learn a lot here, you know. I knew that lings were pretty good, but it's like the plus two seems to really, really uh, make that difference. And also the fact that he has pretty damn good injects. Yeah, that doesn't hmm. hurt either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. However, but we're yeah. going to be getting into map two on Frozen Temple and spawning in the bottom right position of that map. It is the Red Pro Red, 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 Red <laughs> Protoss player from Elevate Gaming. Give it up for Bales. Can he Never bring it back? Never elevate gaming, Dave. That's like the one bad thing you could ever do, and you know, like in life, if you're gonna at least follow one golden rule, it's never elevate gaming. Only team elevate. Team. Oh, she, oh, damn. Is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it, it was yesterday. Elevate I got it. <laughs> oh no. I don't remember who it was, but he was like, "Dude, never elevate gaming." Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, team elevate. Team the top left, sorry, I uh, kind of went off on that one, but here we go. On the top <laughs> left-hand corner, representing NVS, he is up by one. It is Violet. Uh, yeah, and you know, despite the fact that he is sick, he's really, really putting forth a good performance. And once again, going for that hatch gas pool. I think that just that's his comfortable way of playing the matchup. I like it too. It lets you deal with. Uh, any kind of early adept pressure, proxy gates, you still have a pool early enough to deal with it. I think it's just a solid way of playing the matchup. Yeah, I agree. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, a, I'm really happy that Violet isn't uh, in that kind of state of mind where he's sick and then says, okay, let's just try to go and end this really quickly. He's had so much better success when he brings it to the mid to late game. And even if he might be struggling to do it, it's just a lot better than the kind of half-assed Know, okay, I'm gonna do an early pool, and okay, that didn't work. I'm dead. Um, you know, yeah. dooming yourself before the game is started. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's really great that you point that out. That he's he isn't he isn't just kind of going for like a coin flippy play. <laughs> it's yeah, I really I really do prefer that. Uh, we will have to see if Violet's gonna leave one or two drones on gas this time, uh, or maybe if he. Even if he... Actually, he might be leaving all three. Oh, I thought he was two. But it looks like he, he did pull them off, and he's leaving only one there. Okay. So, so. He, he did he did leave it on for a little bit, but not that long. Um, going for a pretty quick third hatch once again. Yeah, the Violet style. And he's just going to go ahead and try to get that nice larva count... <clears throat> or larva production here. And Bills, you know, he's down by one here in this game. We've seen him have some really awesome Phoenix control, but uh, he just wasn't able to really hold on when it came down to those engagements. Getting a few of his units picked off here and there, and then uh, losing a lot of his probes to these run-bys with the Banes. Little things that added up over time to force him to be in a position that he did not want to be in. So, uh... Yeah, and uh, kind of interesting to note was that uh, Violet decided to go for... Uh, the faster third hatch before spending his larva at the natural. Oh, nice. Targets down one of the larva does bales at the third base. Um, but he actually decided to go for that faster third base and then also plant a creep tumor down with his natural queen as opposed mm -hmm. to uh, building... as opposed to doing the double inject as his first two queens popped. Yep. And uh, it's just kind it's of a way of much, rearranging yeah. his economy. And I think it's nice, right, though? When you have that oh, bed hatchery, hey. you just uh, have enough lava to at least um, match with your minerals. And then the creep spread is so important and it gets neglected if you don't actually start it early. Uh, yeah, but as it is, it's going to be pushing out very aggressively quite early. And uh, we do see the Roach Warren from Violet is very, very early. And he's going to be going up to a very fast 3 gas as well. I wonder yeah. if maybe he's going to be getting aggressive. He, he scouted the Twilight Council being chrono boosted, and then as soon as the Overlord did get out of there, I think it uh, might have been taken out. No, it didn't even get taken out, it just flew away. Um, he actually took off the chrono boost on it, but now he has it on it again. So, uh, whether or not he commits to what looks to be a very aggressive adept attack, which Violet might be preparing for, <clears throat> I'm not really sure if he's just confused or uh, playing mind games here. Yeah, Violet's definitely preparing for, for some aggressive play uh whether that's his own aggressive play or playing defensively i think he's playing defensively based on these spores yeah uh but this is actually be going to be a fantastic counter to what violet or sorry what bales is doing because bales is moving out with seven 
Adept's on the right side of the map, as well as a probe, uh, does get pushed back into the natural, not gonna be able to take a third base. I and... love that he's looking on the top too. Uh, Bale's attacking from the top, but Violet looking a little bit more than prepared for us. Oh, absolutely, and he might be able to pick off uh, several of these Adepts before the Shades finish. Is gonna get uh, three of them, actually, which is pretty nice. Also, these Lings might be able to wrap around on these Adepts coming from the north side. Oh, oh! Really nice to be done from Violet. <laughs> And yep. that's actually a huge portion of Violet, uh, Bales' army at this point, and Violet was committing to aggression very heavily. And he's not I done yet. No, I think he's definitely going to be able to force a cancel at this third base. Uh, Bales does have a warp prism on the other side of the map, True. but it's going to be really close. Nice gross at Biles on that pylon, going to take it down. And uh, these are, oh, I like that pylon placement on the high ground. But the Adepts, they're just not going to be enough. And uh, just one Immortal popping out is going to get surrounded immediately. Takes down the uh, Guardian Shield very quickly with the barrier. Unpowering the Robo too. This might no be No more just, Immortals. This is this is almost game. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do here? Bill, uh, you need the Immortals to get out there. I mean, he's trying to get his third base secured, but Violet, the one time he's not going for the plus one melee or investing in anything else other than units straight up off of 42 drones. Three base is uh, up, but it's mainly for the larva to be aggressive, and now Bales might actually get caught up. Oh, he's gonna watch the mothership oh. core! <laughs> Not quite enough uh, for Osa Biles, but does take it down to like one shot. And uh, is gonna take down that pylon and unpower once again a gateway at the front base, front door. And this is looking fantastic for Violet. I don't see a way that Bales can hold this. I don't know how this have most Yeah, mortals are good, but not this good. No, especially with. Uh, Corosa Biles to re knock down those force fields, even takes down the cyber core, and GG, Violet advances 2 0. On the rematch, he lost the first time to Bales, and then